So the fall season just started and all we have seen of fall is people falling out of their relationships, out of love, and out of marriages. What's going on? I need y'all to get y'all's hopes back up. Like all is not lost. So while there might be like a plethora of reasons why these marriages didn't work out, I'm going to focus on a spiritual and biblical one, which may be that God may not have put these people together. These people may not have done the work that they needed to do before they got into the marriage or the timing was just completely off. And again, they didn't do the work that they needed to do when they needed to do it. So I don't know about you, but God has always put it in my heart to be married. I've always wanted to be married. I want to be a wife. I went on a fast and I was like, Lord, you know, I'll be asking you questions. So I'm just going to ask you since you created this like institution of marriage, what's your intention for it? Like, what is a wife? So the Holy Spirit takes me to Genesis 2 in the Bible and like the revelation that he gave me and the unpacking that was done. I have to share with y'all. So just to summarize, God is taking uh, Adam from the dirt, like he's forming him from the dirt. And then he's like, hey, you need a helper. And so he starts creating all these animals and Adam starts naming all the animals and Adam's not finding his helper there. So God puts Adam to sleep and he takes Eve from the rib. Keep this. So the word that they used for fashion or like formed from the rib, like for Eve, means to appoint or ordain, which means that God specifically appointed or ordained Eve. He was like, oh, that's it. That's the one. He don't know how he knew. He was asleep, but he knew her when he saw her and when she was presented, right? Which means that these men be knowing who they wife is. So then I was like, well, Lord, why did you use a rib? Like, why don't you just make her out of the dirt like you did with Adam? And so he said, a rib protects the heart. So as a helper, a wife's job is to help protect the identity of the man. Whatever she's feeding into him, whatever you know she's speaking into him that's what that man is going to become and that's what he's going to give out and i'll be honest i was for a while like lord i need help i'm not trying to help anyone and he <laughs> he was like hey that part where uh i took adam and i formed him and i took eve and i formed her that's the part that everybody is missing everybody is not willing to be in a season where it's just you and God and he's healing you from trauma. He is giving you identity in him for you to be a helper to someone else, right? You have to take that time. You have to be willing to. And I feel like a lot of these marriages are not working because there are still a lot of traumas and issues that people are not dealing with before they hop into a marriage. Y'all already know God gave me an example. So me and my homegirl needed a tow and we were like five minutes from the house. It's at nighttime. The first tow company calls maybe like 10 minutes later and was hanging up in our face he was just rude for no reason and it took him maybe like 20 minutes to get there we was only like 10 minutes from him so I don't understand what took so long but anyway he got there and was like oh, why well, I can't find y'all y'all gonna have to walk to me we gonna have to walk to you like it was, so anyway the Lord kept our composure we were very nice and we, we tried to go find him we went, went around in circles we got lost and we ultimately just wound up being like hey we're just gonna cancel so we canceled the next guy calls he's like 30 minutes out and he's just like hey i'm 30 minutes out is there any way y'all can drive it back to the house we were like no the tire is shredded we're more than happy to wait the 30 minutes he was like ah okay and he hung up and i said this man don't want to come get us and so 10 minutes later this man comes and when i tell you he is jolly so by the time it's like 11 o'clock this started at nine this man is so jolly he comes to our window like cracking jokes and stuff and was like all right well let me hook y'all up he's smiling he's happy he made us feel better right so he puts the car on the little tow truck thing he drives it to our house where y'all need me to park the car he took the car inside for us he just went above and beyond and it was such a lesson though we had to wait we had to wait he was the right person for the job the first one was all hasty and he had a whole bunch of issues. What we got was not the best version of this man. I don't know if this man had a long day or what, but he was not equipped to handle what we had going on. And we were trying and overexerting ourselves, getting lost, having to turn around, all this other stuff, trying to help get him to where he should have been in the first place. That was a no. The second guy didn't want to put the work in to get the job done. Okay. He was lazy. He was like, peace out. But there is somebody out there that God has fashioned for you and that he has fashioned you for where you're equipped to handle it. Whatever this person has going on, God knows how to give you dreams, visions, uh, send people to give you messages, YouTube videos, I don't know. But he knows how to get you healed, to help help that other person, how to get that other person healed, to help you because the only people 
that's going to do it right together, whatever it is that God has for y'all to do, is the person that he created specifically for you. That might not be everybody's process or whatever, but I strongly believe that God's original intention and design for marriage was for us to be with the person that he created for us. We just need to wait and do the work. I think that we don't do a good enough job of waiting on God <laughs> and asking him. We ask him about everything else, but we're not willing to ask him, Lord, who is my husband? Or Lord, who is my wife? And what is it that I need to pray for them? Or what do I need to do in the time that I'm waiting for you to reveal this person to me? What can I be doing? But because we don't ask God, because we just want to go jump out there and date whoever, because we don't want to be alone or because we're hurt or we just want some company or some sex we shouldn't be having anyway, we just go do it and we don't ask or we ask afterwards. And now we're dealing with baggage and trauma that we don't have to have been dealing with <laughs> because we don't want to sit down. Just, just hold on a second. Just wait. Just like we had to wait the, the, the couple hours that we had for that Tommy to come. It was worth the wait. That was a great experience. If we didn't have our car tow, we probably would just been out there talking. But it was it was better because we waited. And the lesson is, let the Lord choose for you. Let the Lord reveal to you. He knows what he's doing. We just have to trust that he knows what he's doing. And we have to be willing to go through the process to get the best thing for us and to be the best thing for someone else.